Hello and welcome to this video. My name is Aniruddha. Call sign is Victor Uniform Number Three Foxtrot Mike Lima. The picture that you see in front of you is uh, the portable All Star node that I've made using a Stanley toolbox, which you see here. Uh, there is an antenna connected over here. This is the same antenna that you receive in the box of Baofeng 888. It is connected to PL259 to SMA male adapter. And further this PL259 gets connected to SO239, which we'll see further. This over here is the on off switch uh, for the portable all star node. Here is another view. This is the antenna over here and here is the button. If you open this toolbox, this is what you will see inside. Like I said, the antenna gets connected to the SO239, which you see here. And this is the backside of the on off switch. The various components that uh, I've used here are uh, Raspberry Pi Zero uh, 2W. Uh, here is the SD card which contains the ham wipe software. I've used Baofeng 888. This is a modified Baofeng 888. We'll see the modification and its connections a little bit later. As a sound card, I have used the DMK Yuri X sound card. This is a CM119A based sound card. For the power source, I've used a lithium ion phosphate battery of 6 ampere hours. To step down the voltage, I've used a buck converter, which you see here. And for the power supply of Baofeng, I've used a diode mounted over here. We'll see uh, the different uh, power supplies and the connections between these components now. So this is a four cell lithium ion phosphate battery. So it gives around 12.8 volts as uh, the output voltage. Now the Raspberry Pi 02W works on 5 volts and the Baofeng works on 4.2 volts. So by adjusting the potentiometer on the buck converter, I've adjusted the voltage uh, such that it is around 4.7 volts. If you see here, the orange wire goes to the Raspberry Pi 02W and the voltage of 4.7 volts approximately is uh, given through this orange wire to the Raspberry Pi. The second orange wire goes through this diode and the voltage is further dropped um, to uh, approximately 4.2 to 4.3 volts, which is uh, given to the Baofeng as its power supply. The Baofeng is connected using uh, this cable, the gray color cable over here through a 25 pin D connector, which gets attached to the Uri X from one side. And the other side, there is a USB cable that gets connected to the Raspberry Pi using this OTG adapter. Now, like I said before, the Baofeng requires certain modification. I had explained uh, these modifications in my previous videos related to the All-Star nodes, but we'll see uh, the connections uh, for this modification. And we'll also see the connections that are given in this uh, D connector. So if you open up the Baofeng 888, you will see here that certain points on the PCB are tapped. If you look closely, the black wire is the ground connection. The brown wire is the power supply to the Baofeng. So the orange wire that we saw earlier coming out of the diode gets connected over here. The red wire is the PTT for the Baofeng. The orange wire is the carrier operated squelch 
we will see the photograph for that uh, next. It is on the back side of this circuit board. The yellow wire connected through a 10K resistor. There is a 10K resistor inside the hitch ring over here. It, uh, it is the received audio for the Baofeng. And the green wire that you see here gets connected through a 10K resistor as well at this point, which is the TX audio of the Baofeng. So I recommend that you see my earlier videos related to the All-Star node where I've explained how these connections are to be made. If you flip the Baofeng 888 on the other side of the PCB, here you see a chip and the carrier operated squelch gets connected to the pin number one of this particular IC over here. So uh, these are the modifications that need to be done on the Baofeng 888. I've made a detailed video which is titled Tips and Tricks of All-Star Node. And there's one more radioless All-Star Mode uh, node. So you can go and watch those videos. There are a lot of details in that as well. So like I said before, we covered the connections in the Baofeng over here. And now we'll see how these cables, these wires uh, that are tapped from the Baofeng are connected to this 25 pin D connector. If you go to the website of DMK Engineering, uh, there is a documentation available for the Uri X sound card. And here you see the 25 pin D connector. Now the red wire that we saw earlier, that is the PTT coming from the Baofeng gets connected to pin number one. Here you can see PTT and pin one. Moving ahead, the next connection is the COR detect. This is nothing but the COS signal from the Baofeng. So you can see that it is connected to eight. So the orange wire that was connected on the back side of the Baofeng 888 gets connected to pin number eight over here. The next connection is mic in, which is connected to pin number 21. So this is where the RX signal, the received signal, uh, of the Baofeng gets connected to. So you see the yellow wire, that is the received signal of the Baofeng. It gets connected to the pin number 21, which is the mic in. The next connection is either left out or right out. I've chosen left out. So pin number 22, so the green wire that was the TX signal gets connected to a pin number 22. If you go to the site allstarsetup.com, here you can see uh, how these uh, connections are made. There is a pin diagram over here which shows how and where the PTT, COS, TX, and RX are connected. So these are the connections uh, of the 25 pin D connector. I'm not going to talk about the software part because there are a lot of videos. I will put the links in description for those videos uh, where you can see how the All-Star node can be set up in software. But Basically, this is how I've made the All-Star node. Now, a couple of things that you need to take care. I've used these ferret beads on the power supply and the USB. These are not absolutely necessary, but if you find any um, hums or vines, then you can reduce uh, those interference with the help of uh, these ferret beads. The shield part of the coaxial cable that gets connected to the Baofeng 
needs to be connected with the negative terminal of the input of of the buck converter this eliminates a lot of audible noise when you transmit or receive so that's it this is the portable all star node i will next show you a clip of this node in operation thank you very much for watching this video until next time this is victor uniform number 3 fox rod mike lima 73s